to do as performers of medieval music when we study the medieval lute or any of the related instruments. We do not have notation for any of them specifically until around 1450, which is when we have our first tablature notations that turn up for the five chorus plectrum lute. We have mainly um, songs, uh, vocal music, for which we can assume that at least occasionally instruments like these were used to accompany them. What we then have to do is we have to immerse ourselves into the musical culture of the era to understand how the music functions and how we can integrate ourselves with our instrument in that music making culture. We are looking at art, we are looking at literature, we are listening to the singers, we are, we are singing ourselves. We are trying new techniques every now and then, we are trying different tunings, different instruments, and bit by bit we are finding our way into it. The lute really was played mainly with a plectrum and we're using a variety of feather quills for this. Uh, right here I have what I mostly use is ostrich feathers. Uh, this is, um, of course, as you can see, a peacock feather. The guitar is sort of the uh, small cousin to the lute, but it's not a lute derivative. So this is not, this wasn't derived from the lute. This has a separate story that leads into the 15th century. They go side by side and they were paired very often in the 15th century, especially for the lute duo. The earliest um, guitar depictions that we know are from Spain again in the 13th century and then it was probably also used to accompany song. We have one very good instrument and this is modeled after that surviving instrument. We have numerous depictions over two centuries, 13th, 14th century, uh, Spain, France, England. We're looking at manuscript images, we, we collect all them, we look at the different features that they show and uh, try to identify what a prototype sutol would have been.
really go for the instruments with interesting shapes. It's a cetra and an Italian instrument of the 15th century. Really, this one belongs into humanist Italy. And it is one of the few instruments of which we know that it was a wire strung. So this is why this also has metal strings now. This one I call a Carolingian Cithara. This is a depiction from the Stuttgart Psaltery from the 9th century, following exactly the shape as we find it in, in, the, um, in the Psaltery. exciting time to be studying medieval music and to shed our own light onto something that some people still think of as the Dark Ages. What we are finding, however, is a rich, complete and diverse musical aesthetic coming to light literally under our own fingertips as our research unfolds and becomes music.